<laughs> this is crazy, bro. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> Busting on that. Oh, oh. It is uh, 11 7. Lamb Sam. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they can't go nowhere without the legs. That's science. That's physics. <laughs> like, I was just running down the field, like, ah, this is crazy. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, season three, episode two, welcome back, defensive back from the 918, Cam Curl. Yes, sir. Man. Cam Thank Curl, you for having me, man. Welcome back to Hang Time. Feel I'm good glad to you're be back because the last time you were on, your pops was really hyping me up, man. I got yeah. a lot of stuff. Uh, nah, he really like you. He really like you. So. You know what? I like him too. And it's the fact that you went to OU, it plays in a part of that. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll be good friends. <laughs> I knew he was a smart man. <laughs> The arguably the chillest and baddest dude in the locker room. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at you. You're super chill. When you get onto the field, you kind of turn into a different guy. Yeah. Is that on purpose? I don't, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's been like that my whole career playing football. Like, I just get angry. I don't know why. Even like in flag football? I never played flag. Wow. That's, so that's, probably, that's probably the reason. Like, I've always had to run into people. So I just get angry. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's crazy. But off the field, yeah, I'm chill. I just be chilling. Big time. Yeah. I mean, look at you. you got the matching sweatsuit going. Vibe, you got know, the, good good little gift from the equipment. Are the I'm socks and sandals coming back? Yeah. I, I've always, you know, I, I never let them go. I feel like, you know, I've been wearing socks and sandals. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. Well, you socks. sure? Yeah. You ain't got to have the toes out got, all the time. Man, I got kids getting older now. I don't want to yeah. go pick them up from kindergarten. They'll be like, bro, what are those? <laughs> oh. I don't know. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I got to, you know, I got to keep my rep up, man. I got to yeah. keep looking cool. Well, dude, in case you forgot. Here on Hang Time, we talk a little bit of ball. We talk a lot of life. We got a new segment that you'll be introduced to called uh -huh. You Posted That by Zoom. That'll be a little bit later, but uh -huh. we don't. that's a big surprise. And then we love to finish with three and out. So how you feeling? You good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Body you know good? Yeah, I mean, you know, as good as it can be right now, just coming off 83 plays, but... <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> do you have do you have like by now this is year four right mm -hmm. do you have like a set weekly schedule kind of like all right let's just ramp it all the way back up to sunday yeah and then basically getting a whole bunch more car crashes yeah facts. and then just reset it and come back i think the most important part is like the monday after i got to get the massage like Ooh. that's that's one of them like it's it's like kind of like torture how long is your massage i either go 60 or 90. Wow. But like, you know, just that day after she got a rub all the soreness out and I'm yep. just on the table making the ugliest faces because I'm in so much pain, but I need it. Though. That's what we should have got for you posted that. We should have got some camera shots just right in. Yeah. No, you wouldn't post that though. That'd take away from the vibe. All right, man. So we want to start out with a couple of highlights. Now, my boy Crowd. Yeah. So we drafted Crowd here a long time ago mm. and I've been playing ping pong, been playing football with Crowder for a long time. How much do you pay attention when you come off the field to the punt play? There is no wrong answer here. Oh, no, I pay attention because it's, it's always big plays that can happen. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, I remember watching Crowder. I remember him at Duke, and I remember when he yep. was here. You know what I'm saying? I know he he a big play guy, so that was an amazing play by him. So the Falcons have a great punt team, and, uh, you know, you were hyped up to us uh, as you were going to be a great addition to the punt team, but you yeah. came right in and made some plays early on. I, the, that's, for the, you. that's, that's the only right. thing. I never got a punt rep in the game, it's and okay. I'm sick about that. that. It's all right, man. I'm I'm happy to see where you are now, but just know you are missed. Yes, yes, but yes. Atlanta's got a great punt team. They have great, like, spacing. They cover really well, mm -hmm. and Coach Nate had dialed it up, The one of our returns to just crack it through the middle. Yeah. And if there is just – Anybody that is quicker off that one step, I mean, Crowder is nasty. He hit it right now. It was, it was, it was a nice return for real. I think he arguably has my favorite storytelling ability on the team, too. For real? Have you ever noticed how animated he is? I in never my, heard a story from him. No, I, I gotta, just I had lunch with him, and he was just telling me about how he got <laughs> back here to Washington. And when I used to play him in ping pong, we didn't have the ping pong table when you were here, do we? Nah. He was the best person to play ping pong against because of the way he would ask and say the score. Uh -huh. He'd be like, George, what the score is? <laughs> like, it is 11 uh, 7. Lamb Sam. Like, <laughs> and then the hands go everywhere. Yeah. Big fan of crowd, man. I'm yeah, glad, nice I'm glad dude. he's back. And it was the longest punt return that we've had in Washington since 2016. You know who returned that one? Who? Yes. Him. Yep. Yeah. Crowd. That's crazy. Took it to the house against Baltimore. Crazy. Yeah. I was just wondering if you watched because you're coming out. Like, obviously, you guys are pumped that you're getting off the field. I didn't mm -hmm. know how much your 
all right, let me get some water. Let me chill. Mm-hmm. Or how much do you watch? Nah, yeah, I, you know, I was sitting down. And, you know, I look up at the screen. You yeah. know, when I seen them busting, I'm like, oh, oh. You know, the coach is talking to me, so yep. I'm not even worried about that. I'm looking at the return. So everybody gets all excited. Do you know who gets really stressed out during that time? Who? Me, Cheese, and Joey. For real. Okay. So we're just thinking, hey, we're gonna get the ball back. Let's see if we get some good field position. Well, when a big play happens like that on the field. You know, the sideline oh, starts yeah. going nuts. Well, oftentimes we're on the opposite side of like where our helmets are. Dude, it is running through oncoming traffic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like there are times I think, you know what, I've lost a step, but mm-hmm. until something like that happens or like a pick six is about to go down, yeah. I just start dipping. I still got the cuts. Yeah, man. yeah. I still got I like the cuts. That. You gotta stay ready. <laughs> All right. So next highlight, B Rob's touchdown. Now we have said on this show that B Rob, very similar to Adrian Peterson, mm. he is an angry runner. Facts. As a DB, do you believe in the fact that there are angry runners out there? And is it pretty intimidating when you know you're going against those dudes? I mean, yeah, for sure, angry runners out there. You know what I'm saying? I like angry runners when they're on my team. You know? Oh, for sure. <laughs> but like, you know, when you're going against them, it's just one of them, one of them days. Like, you know, you gotta, you gotta bring a lunch pill. You know, as they say. You know what I'm saying? It's just. <laughs> You got to hit him more times than he hit you. Or you got to right. get him before he can get you. That's you know right, man. Saying? But, That's uh, old school. One of the things, you know, they can't go anywhere without their legs. So attack them legs. But B-Rod is a, a great play by him. And then running through the DB, that's the yeah. worst thing. Taking on the block and then he just putting his head down. That's, that's the worst thing ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, man. Yeah. I like that. Give me, the, give me the line again about the legs. Can't run. Oh, uh, yeah, they, the they can't go nowhere without the legs. That's science. Take them away. That's physics. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is, I think uh, if I'm ever coaching my son, I'm, you know, I'll really drop some knowledge on the little kids. Be like, guys, listen, they can't run without their legs. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter how angry, how angry of a runner it is. All right. So I've been playing some catch up here mm-hmm. on just how much of an emphasis the turnovers were going into this season. Mm-hmm. Can you give me some info on that? Because this was a turnover fest right. on Sunday, my friend. I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I think the main thing is just, like, looking at the numbers, the team who wins the turnover battle, you know, they're going to win the game more so times speak, than not. Speaking of which, okay, I forget I forget what I was watching on TV, and they were talking about how a team leads in time of possession, and a team mm-hmm. does this and this and this. Have you, by chance, looked at, like, just the team numbers from the game? Mm-mm. of plays and first downs and yards and like things like that. Now, granted, Crowder gave us a really short field. Uh-huh. We had the turnovers, things like that. But, dude, I, when you get curious or if you're on your phone on ESPN, click on like the team stats yeah. of Atlanta versus Washington. And they look like they, in every category, look like they would have topped us. But like Coach always says, like the turnovers are such a huge deal. And right. we had three turnovers, they had zero. Yeah, it's just making plays, you know, making plays that come to you and catching the ball, you know, when it comes to you. How hyped do you guys get when there is a pick uh, with the defensive backs? It's, it's it's just, it feels so good, you know what I'm saying? Just yes. seeing him get a pick. Like when K4 caught his, like I can't do nothing but just scream. <laughs> like I was just running down the field like, ah. Like, you just don't know what to do. Like, it's just, I don't know. It just feels so good. And then when Juice caught in the end zone, I turn around. He 10 feet in the air catching the ball. Yes. Like, and then the last one with Jamie, like, I don't know. It just feels so good to see us pick off the ball, you know what I'm saying, make plays. I know. All right, so all I saw was this flash in the INT with Jamin's. Uh-huh. And I see I see 52 get up, and I was just like, that was a heck of a catch by right, Jake. You yeah. wouldn't think, you know, maybe just a big, swolled up linebacker. Can make that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a sweet No, nah, that pick, was a nice man. catch, really. Undercut it. Like, that was a nice play, for sure. Yeah, man, that was that was definitely fun watching you guys go to work out there. And that, I mean, you mentioned, like, looking up at Crowder on the Jumbotron and stuff. My neck got a little bit tired from uh-huh. looking up the whole time. <laughs> yeah. But it was kind of old school. I just kind of walked up on the sideline and would stand and just survey everything and watch you guys. That was a, that was a good time, man. Yeah, it was a that fun was game. A Especially when you get picks like that. It makes the game fun. Yeah. So speaking of fun, dude, it is now it is now time for the new segment. Uh-huh. Welcome to Hang Time Season Three. I mean, we're yeah, we're adding segments here. Yeah, for sure. This is you posted that presented by Zoom. Now we don't know what's about to pop up, pop up on the screen. All right. Could be me. Could be you. Uh-huh. Could be crowd. Yeah. Anyway. You, usually it's you. Yeah. But I don't know. And don't we'll just react. Either. We'll just react to what we have going on here. Let's do see. it. First up. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> what? A little prom picture, man. You but know? what? Okay, so I was in high school when there was this thing called the duck face. Do you know what the uh, duck face is? Like the duck lips. Yeah, the duck yeah, lips. Yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah. hitting that. Now, what 
what what face is that one? What? I don't know. I mean, the purple looks fresh. Yeah, you know, I had to what was that clean prom up. Or yeah, something it was like prom. That? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, my mama. That's like ah, a, that's, that's like, like low key a duck lip, but it, I ain't trying to do that. That's I like wasn't a, trying that's like to. A, that's like a stinky duck. Yeah, that's like, like that's a stink. You know what I'm saying? Stink. Now see, now that's cool. Now yeah. when I think. What was this? Was this high school? Yeah, 2017. So when I think of Cam Curl in high school, I think more of that instead of the stinky duck. Yeah. Or whatever that face was yeah. in the purple. That's an old I one. I mean, right you there. do a good job of matching. So I take it the date was wearing purple? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We was I mean, the purple. purple's fresh, but. Yeah, I got the little three piece. Yeah. What is the face, though? I can't name? tell you. Was that on it purpose? was just the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Just That's the vibe? The vibe? The day, you know? I was probably just tired of taking pictures and like, all right, come on. Now that I believe that look, yeah, that's yeah, what that looks yeah. like. Like, uh, another yeah. picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> oh, we got a video. No, nah, that ain't no video, man. That is. Look, they're doing the. Here, hold on. Here we go. Oh, all right, Holly. This to be honest, video is for you. You oh. only. And hold on, else. hold What's on. Can we back on? it up? Hold on, I lost it after Holly. What is going on? We've got here? Holly. Hold on, Holly's in. Hold on. Oh, all right, Holly. This to be honest, video is for you. You only. My voice. And nobody be... else. Um, to be honest, we haven't talked so long. That's how many times we got time. Finest, bro. You and Candy, y'all text me, and uh. y'all to y'all double team me on if zombies were scary or not, and I said they were scared. <laughs> And y'all said not. Um, that was the last time we talked. We need to change that. We need to talk some more. Bro, this is crazy. Oh, shot to shot? I have. That's my cousin right there. But this is crazy. I have thousands of questions. But first, hold on. Because I missed, I missed this. This was past my time. Would you please, because I've seen it, but I don't know what it is. Would you please explain what a to be honest is? Uh, but it was like a uh, you know, um, I don't. That's why I'm asking you. I don't explain it. It was just like basically your opinion on somebody, or like you know, like like this for to be honest. Somebody like it, and by to be honest, like if you don't know him, you by to be honest, you seem cool or something like that. Or it's just like people wanting to know what you think. Are you talking him. about Holly and the zombie? Thing? Yeah, I don't even remember who Holly is. Well, you guys haven't talked in a while in that video, so I'm, that I'm guessing video, I don't like, even know how old that video after is. That, like, but hey, that's a that's okay, man. That's crazy. A good y'all. good to be and honest. Then they pull, <laughs> they pulling up this. I remember who she is. <laughs> I remember now. This is crazy, bro. This is wild. <laughs> this is wild. This is crazy. Oh man, 2012. That's on your, but that's on your social media. This is crazy. I gotta, you, I gotta deactivate my whole and thing. and we say as the segment is named, you posted that. I did, I did, I did. That's all right, but that's a. I didn't think this day would come. Yeah, man. I mean, you're here, dude. This you're in the NFL. Like Twelve years later. Yeah. This is crazy, bro. What do I have to do to get it? To be honest, from you. Because what would you have to do? Repost or would they have to like or retweet something? Yeah, they have something? to like, like it, man. To be honest, Tres, you're one of the best dudes on the team, man. Come on, I'll take some of that. I really appreciate and that, you, And that's not a lie because I asked him to be honest. Exactly. Thank you, man. <sighs> I got to tighten up. Yeah, that's crazy, right. bro. Dude, that was – I'm not going to lie. I did not I – did, I did not – when I saw the video, I'm like, this is cool. We're going to get like a little video. That did not disappoint in the slightest. <laughs> That was good. I I still, I mean, you still got some game, man. It's like, uh, the, what, like, you know, it's kind of hard to understand you. So, like, maybe she was focused, like, oh, what's he saying? Uh, but I'm not sure on the zombies thing, whatever. That I don't is, know what I was talking about. That's all right. <laughs> it's always all right. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This this looks like a pretty solid. Oh, that Defoe? Oh, yeah. Get somebody else in here, bro. Yeah. This looks like a, uh, a man, nice Defoe one. Defoe crazy. Defoe. He got the little dog filter. Is that, crazy? that is just <laughs> that's tough. I mean, that's he not like taking pictures. I don't think he. I don't think he looks very cool. Yeah. I don't think. Uh, I don't know what the goal on this one was, but uh, I mean, it's faux. Yeah, so. yeah, default man, yeah, default a little go. crazy. 
<laughs> See, so there you go, man. You never know. You never know on you posted that. Like what's uh, what's coming into play? That's that were those was totally that old Muskogee guard. days? Yeah, that was Muskogee for sure. That was crazy. Oh, Muskogee Facebook, man. <laughs> All right, dude. So uh, I know it was kind of a turnover machine on Sunday, mm-hmm. but uh, been a little bit of tackling machine, my friend. Yeah. If know. I say if I say the term tackling fuel. Do you know what movie that comes from? That's a Tech tough one. Fuel. That's probably and not nice. the time you were sending. To be honest, yeah, There's I don't, I don't know about that one. That. I don't know about that one. It's the Water Boy with uh, Adam Sandler. For real, I'll yeah. be watching it. Tackling fuel. Tackling fuel. They call the water the tackling fuel. I think so. I should know that. I asked you yeah. about it. Um, yeah. what do you credit some of that to? Like how we all view you as just this ridiculous, instinctive football player. Mm-hmm. Has it always like? Has it always been that way for you, like growing up, or how you were coached, how you play? Is I mean, as you sit here, super chill, and then you uh-huh. go on the field and you're somebody else. Like, yeah. is it just this God given ability you got that that's your knack that you're like? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. First of all, I feel like it's a God given ability, just you know, to be able to make it here and like do what I do on the field. But no doubt, instincts play a big part. Like just playing this game since I was six. Like, you know, I got a feel for a lot of things and I can just go. Like, it's second nature. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like the tackling part is like, because sometimes some things happen so fast and it's about leverage. People don't, like, people don't get how fast it is. Things happen and like that's this. cool. Like, but it is fast. It's fast. <laughs> like, you got to be able to make a split decision. Like, and you got to live with it. But it's like, I don't know. Like, tackling stuff, I take it personal too. Like, if somebody break my tackle, I feel soft. Like, he just, you know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. I cannot. Re- I believe you. Just listening to you tell the story, yeah. I cannot relate to that because you know if somebody breaks my tackle. I think, yeah, that. I mean, that's about right. Yeah, but, it's like you know somebody walking past and they bump you, and like you don't do nothing about it. It's like somebody running, and I got a chance to tackle them. I got to tackle you. Yeah, like, I take it real personal, and I don't know. It's just I know it's a bunch of physics that go in it. Like I know which leg to grab or how to tackle them. It's it's just. Like second nature because I've been playing it for so long. A wise man once told me they can't run without legs. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. That's cool, man. <laughs> that uh it now that you say it, like just thinking about like you making plays, thinking about you flying in for tackles, Ed, that that makes per that makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. Like all the leverage, hey, whatever legs going, wherever he's going, like yeah. that is that is a whole new level of football, my friend. Yeah. There's a lot that goes into it, you know, that people don't know, but like it's just, I don't know. You got to be a special dude to do this. Because like I said, things happen so fast. So fast. And you got to be able to know what to do in that time span. Like, or you get left in the dust, man. Right. right. Looking crazy on TV. Do you uh, do you, do you feel like a vet now, man? You feel like... I kind of do. Yeah? Like, just like I'm on the edge. Like I'm, you know, right there. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they starting to treat me like a vet. You know what I'm saying? I got to start telling people what to do. You know, the rookies coming to me asking for stuff. You know that what I'm has, saying? That for, like, for me... Especially like seeing like you guys, like seeing you guys come in mm-hmm. and then seeing guys develop into dudes, yeah. then watching them with the younger guys come in after that, that has been the coolest thing yeah. for me. Like watching you with some of the younger guys and like feel cool you and Percy, you and Quan and those guys. It's, I mean, how's, is that, is that something, is that something that's coming pretty natural or is that something you have to remind yourself like, man, all right, like I'm one of the vets with K-Full, like let's do yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's it's still something I'm learning because, you know, like coming in the league, like you focus on yourself. Like I got to be able to do this. I got to make sure I'm right, you know what I'm saying? So just stay <laughs> no, on this team, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then like once you start getting like stuff start coming second nature, like, okay, I know this stuff, like the back of my hand. And then it's like, okay, I want to see him succeed too, so I'm going to yeah. make sure. He know what he's supposed to be doing. That's you know great, what I'm man. saying? So it's, it feel good to be able to do that. Yeah, no doubt, dude. Is it, uh, I mean, is it something, so for me, once I kind of turned into like a veteran, I kind of enjoyed like that, that pressure and expectation I had uh-huh. to perform and then hopefully like let it bleed into the other guys and like lift everybody up. Yeah. That, that group of defensive backs that you guys have everything going, that has been a lot of fun to watch. Are you yeah. starting to feel some of that a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Like, we're making the plays, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're coming together, and, like, I just feel like we're playing with the swag now, you know what I'm saying? We're just, like, we're just finna go ball. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We're not uptight, like, worrying about messing up. Like, you can't go out there and worry about can't. messing up. Like, can't. Because you're going to mess up. Got to be Just go out there and ball, you know what I'm saying? Like, you... We the made to NFL. You good enough to play here. Yep. So now I just go show them. I like show that, them your man. skills. I like that. I uh 
I very much appreciate that like take on it because mm-hmm. I'm a I'm I'm more of like a a feel feel player like feel guy instead of hey x y and z it's more like hey we're here we we're know here. what to do yeah let's roll let's like full it. send like let's let it go i had made it it's my dream not to go ball out that's right how's it uh how's it been with vise man that's uh i got to play around the golf with vise one uh-huh. time that's a chill dude to be around nah, yeah Vies how's he handled all the emotions game <laughs> practice everything like that i feel like he handles it good you know what i'm saying vise he's a funny guy you yes. know what i'm saying uh i feel like he takes control of the room good yeah you know what i'm saying and like we listen to him you know what i'm saying we know he knows what he's talking about yeah. you know what i'm saying uh he does a good job putting us in the right position yeah that's cool man all right so i was informed by the team here at hang time uh-huh. that uh june 30th is cam curl day in muskogee oklahoma yeah okay how do i get to do something like that not for muskogee you can have muskogee mm-hmm. but maybe i could you know have a tress way day Unless that was a total surprise and that happened, you know, for you. Nah, it was a surprise to me for Dang sure. It. Uh, See, I was, was hoping maybe you wrote a letter <laughs> and they were like, yeah, I can. I knew you didn't write a letter, but I was hoping that's what it was so I could just write my letter. Yeah, nah, it was a surprise. It was like, because um, I got my annual camp every year there yeah. and like it was the day before the camp. They just had this little thing at the um, at the little convention center. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they told me that, like. Just telling how proud of they was of me, you know what I'm saying? So cool, and giving man. back, you know, it just felt good to be recognized like that. And like, I'm still here to see that yeah. happen, you know, and see like the inspiration I'm giving to them. Yeah, man. Is that, is that just pretty surreal? Like, going back, like you're in year four in the league now, and you go back, you're going back home, you're doing the camp. Yeah. Like, how is it seeing the kids and like things like that? That would just, it's, have to it's be. like, I, like you said, it's surreal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just living like in a dream, like being able to do that. Cause like, I remember when I was that young, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the freaking video. But, uh, just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do too, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, just looking up to guys, you know what I'm saying? And like, being able to come back and like show them my face, like, just give them hope. You know no, what I'm no, saying? Man. It's a, it feel real good. Like it's just it's crazy. Like you get the same coaches and stuff from when you were there. Is it it's some of them? Some, some of them. Say? Like okay. yeah, the head coach. Some of the assistants is there. Like and I go back and see them. Like it just feel good. Like and going back and seeing the stadium. Mm-hmm. Like everything I did there. Yeah. You know, feel good. Yeah. How often do you get to go back? I go back every off season. Okay. You know what I'm saying for that camp and like to go see my people. You know yeah. what I'm saying. I haven't got to catch a, a football game yet though, because I probably would be so late. Yeah, but I'm trying to get to one. Oh yeah, I know. I got to I got to go back at at Union a while back, uh-huh. and it was just it was so cool. Yeah, going back and seeing it. And, you seen our new stadium now? We look like Union. We we up I there. I've seen the You got know, a Union one. got a new one. We built a, a newer one. one. We did a double decker. Nah. You know, nah. now nah, we got it. I think we knew Muskogee was getting close, uh-huh. so we were like, "Hold on, we, gotta we just got it. <laughs> <laughs> we got to nah, but ours like quick. I think they built it last year. Last season was the first season in it. Like this past off season, my first time seeing it, and it looks crazy. Like the field house, ooh, like, it, look, it looks crazy. All right, we got some pictures up. Yeah, the roughers, and that's actually at the high school because you know the other one was at the middle school. Oh, that's one, right. And this one was at the at the high school, like in the yeah. back of it. See, we played we played Mud Muskogee. Um, I think it was at uh, NSU because it was in the state semifinals. Oh, okay, yeah, it was cold. Yeah, oh, get cold. Them cold playoff games, games get was cold. A, bro. It was a tight one, man. They had a couple. They had a couple future Sooners over there. Uh-huh. And, oh yeah, but Ruffers. And at the time, the Redskins, but now the mm-hmm. Red Hawks. Yeah, yeah, I forgot they changed that. Had to, yeah, make, had to make the change. Had yeah. to make the change. But uh, all right, so. We were talking a little bit about like the following in Oklahoma, mm. just football in general. I know we'll probably be a little biased, but do mm. you think that they could? You think they could do a, a NFL franchise in Oklahoma? Yeah, I feel like we can. For sure. That'd be sweet, wouldn't you know it, man? Saying? We had we got the Thunder. I feel like we can. I like, know that would be fun too, just to be able to have that and bring more money in to the state. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it would be nothing but but pros to That's it. That's right. And when you know you got all you got all the various big colleges kind of all in right. and around Oklahoma right there so everybody has their And there's you know, all that land. Loyalties. Like there's so there's many places to put it. <laughs> like it's just driving from Texas, like I'll be driving from Texas, I'll be training in Texas and driving back to Oklahoma is just so much grass and land there. Great like, plains, my friend. There's a lot of places to put it. No doubt. All right, Cam, so we are going to finish mm-hmm. with a segment um that you 
got to partake in last time, and you'll be a fan of the name, the three and out. Yeah, three and out, get out the field. Yeah, and like this is a good one, like three and out's good. It's like, all right, yeah, mm-hmm. here we go. <laughs> now, we're going to put one minute on the clock. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a question that has seven answers, but you only have to get three of them to be out. Okay. Out is good. Out means you win. I mean, yeah, I remember mean, last time I was I was stressed out. I gotta calm down. Yeah, you gotta calm down. And then uh and then after this, maybe you could help me set up a, a to be honest for my wife. I wanna <laughs> I wanna I wanna set one up for my wife. I got you. So, I got you. All right, man. There are seven letters that no US state starts with. Okay, okay, okay. Seven then letters. No US state start with. Start it. <sighs> B. B. No, U.S. State starts with the letter B. Do not say M or N. E. E. You're going through that. Look at you, man. <clears throat> J. And J. <laughs> <laughs> Can you name all seven? K. K. Kentucky. And Kansas. Hey. And Kansas. That's all right, but it's just about how many you could get. Hell, mm. Louisiana. P. Okay, let me stop going to order. <laughs> uh, no, P. you have P. P. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Golly. Q. It can't be one with Q. Thank you. Q. Come on now. Q. Z. Z. Come on now. Thank you. Yep. Now we're X. getting X. Come on now. now we're getting. <laughs> Okay. There you go, man. Well, so you started at the beginning. You got six of the seven. Six of the seven. I got one. I need one more. Oh. All right. I got six of the seven. Yeah. That's, that's good. really good. I, I don't even know the seventh one. I just know there is seven. I'm trying to think while you're going. There you go. Know. It's definitely not P. It's not Q. No. Utah. Utah. Oh, we got you from the gallery. Utah, man, for sure. Uh, v, v, Vermont, X. You know. Did you say why? R. Did you say why? Rhode Island is a state. Rhode Island is a state. Did you say why? No, I didn't. Why is it? There why you go, man. It? See, three and out. We'll do three and out. Well, we did seven and out. Yeah. I don't know how that would apply to football, but. Cam Curl, thank you for the laughs. Thank you for the tackles. Uh-huh. Thank you for the stories. I think hopefully we don't punt, but if I go on for my first punt, I'm just going to think about, like, what if I just turn into somebody else for this punt right Yeah, now? Like, run down and hit somebody. You're sitting, here, you're sitting here chilling, having a good time, and then, like, you step over and it's like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's just something. <laughs> I'm glad it happens, though. It made no me play doubt. better. It made me play man. good. <laughs> we are too, man. Well, dude, thank you. It was great chatting with yes, you. Sir, and, I appreciate uh, you having me. Let's go take care me. of the Giants, my friend. Yes, sir.